Swansea's beginning to grow on me, you know. I come here quite regularly to make films and commercials and things for the telly, and this is where I come to do it. It's the Barnsley Business and Innovation Centre. A bit of a mouthful, that, isn't it? But there's more going on in that building besides just studios. There are all sorts of exciting projects and interesting people just brimming full of ideas. So if you've got any sort of interest in business, whether you're thinking of starting one up or wondering how to keep one going, then this could be the place for you. But just let's get inside and sign in, eh? Oh, hello, Maggie. Oh, hello. Now, look, you are the very man I wanted to see. I've been making an extremely feeble attempt to explain exactly what goes on in this building. And look, you know, you'd make a much better job of it than me, wouldn't you? And you know, I'm very pushed for time because in fact I'm already three minutes late. So look, can I please leave you in the capable hands of the chief executive here, Dr. Brian King? It's all yours. Thanks, Maggie. Do you have a new idea for a technology-based product or service, but lack the experience and resources to make it commercially viable? A common frustration for the budding entrepreneur and the reason why so many good ideas have gone unrecognised in the past. the Barnsley Business and Innovation Centre, it is our job to seek out entrepreneurs with technically innovative products and services and help them to grow. We are also interested to assist existing companies to develop their product range at a sensible pace. We are part of a national and European network of business and innovation centres created especially to develop technology-based products and services. Over the last 10 years, Barnsley has seen its traditional industries decline. In order to generate new opportunities for its community, the town's image has to change. This is where the Barnsley Business and Innovation Centre has been effective in supporting technology-based companies who can grow and provide employment in the industries of the future. Barnsley, over the last decade, uh, has lost 23 thousand mining jobs and 10,000 of those jobs have disappeared in the last five years. Um, in Barnsley there has been an urgent need uh, to restructure and regenerate the local economy. We are looking vigorously to attract uh, small and medium-sized firms, large firms, uh, into our area uh, that have new and high-tech Bases. Financing for the Barnsley BIC comes from a variety of sources. The European Economic Regional Development Fund and Barnsley Metropolitan Borough Council are just two of the major sponsors. British Coal Enterprise also have a large financial investment in the BIC. What role do they feel the BIC can play in the regeneration of Barnsley? The main aim is to make sure that the new industries, the new technologies, the technologies that are going to take us into the next century are represented in the coal mining areas. And that's probably where places like Barnsley Business Innovation Centre are going to provide a basis for new technology to grow and develop. Set in landscape grounds with ample car parking space, the BIC is just five minutes from the M1 and close to the town centre providing an ideal working environment for the small business. Being a local company, we were actually looking to expand when the bit was being built, and we passed by several times and saw it actually being erected. We decided to make some inquiries within, um, and within five weeks of actually making our inquiries when it was finished, and the minimum of paperwork, minimum of bother, we'd actually moved in.
Here at the BBIC, we house our clients in excellent purpose-built units, ranging from 500 to 2,000 square feet. To help reduce the heavy costs of clerical work, all the BBIC services are shared for our clients. Our modern reception area offers a friendly welcome for visitors, whilst clients have the use of efficient telephone and secretarial services, telex, fax, photocopying and postal services. That needs to be eight thousand pounds. In addition, the BIC has an extensive bank of computer equipment, along with all the software our clients are likely to need. We're in a good quality environment and therefore people realise that when they come to see us and talk to us that we are committed and mean business. Um, and we are able to take advantage of some of the other services other than obviously the office um, to promote our activities, which you wouldn't necessarily get in ordinary rented accommodation. The BBIC's highly qualified management team is located on the same site as its growing companies, thus ensuring a strong relationship of mutual benefit to both organisations. At the head of the management team is Dr Brian King. Brian is a graduate in electrical engineering and holder of a PhD in textile engineering. He was appointed chief executive of the BIC in 1987. Francis Pilly is a graduate with an honours degree in social science and also has a postgraduate diploma in marketing. She joined the BIC in 1988 as the marketing manager. Dennis Martin is the innovation and technologies manager. A graduate in mechanical engineering, Dennis joined the BBIC in 1987. Keith Hampshire has an honours degree in economics and a postgraduate diploma in management and administration. He joined the BIC in 1987 as the business development manager. John O'Connor joined the BIC in 1989 as the training manager. He is a Bachelor of Arts with honours and a Master of Arts. Together, the team offer a wealth of business knowledge and experience to new or expanding companies who have the drive, enthusiasm and commitment to make their product succeed, but may lack the necessary expertise to survive the pitfalls faced by a young company. EDM Limited is a young company initiated by three fresh graduate engineers who have developed a unique universal controller for spark erosion machines. After help from the BBIC with finance, fundraising and business planning, prototypes were developed and the company is now receiving valuable first orders. We were first introduced to the BIC by our bank manager, went to him to raise cash to for our new business proposal and he said have more confidence knowing that we'd be under the wing of the BIC. The National Westminster Bank in Barnsley have been a major sponsor of the BIC since it was launched four years ago. Why do they continue their support? It is vital that NatWest demonstrates clearly it is keen to assist businesses in the region. This is vital not only to NatWest perhaps but also many other companies. But NatWest gains tremendous benefit from being involved not only by way of the sponsorship but also by way of seminars in-house held at the BIC. BIC has acquired a very high reputation as suppliers of financial business expertise and we feel very pleased to be part of it. The BIC is proactive in promoting the services it has to offer, seeking out potential clients through a series of business seminars and roadshow exhibitions. We were first introduced to the BIC at an exhibition for small businesses at the Barnsley Conference Centre where we met Francis Pilly, the marketing manager. Hello there, Mr Lee. Hello. I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Francis Pilly, marketing manager here at the BIC. Did you find Francis Pilly there? is the first contact any inquiring entrepreneur will make with the management team. She will make brief inquiries into their business ideas before passing them on to Dennis Martin, the technology and innovation manager. 
After Francis has made uh, initial contact with the client, she introduces him or her to me, and my job is twofold to discuss the technology that is behind the business proposition and also to ensure that that technology um, is relevant to the uh, objectives of the BIC. Mm -hmm. um, if it meets these two criteria, then my next step would be to pass them on to talk to the business manager uh, to develop the business plan. Keith Hampshire's initial function is to assist in producing a comprehensive business plan. This detailed plan is essential for presentation to potential funders and ensures the best possible chance of success. All the management team have been very helpful, particularly Keith Hampshire, who helped us with setting up our business plan, letting us know which grants were available and providing cash flow analysis for us. Keith's contact with client companies does not end after the business plan has been completed. There is an ongoing relationship so that the BIC can regularly monitor the progress of the company. I want to um, have one last exercise with you tonight on creativity. To try to John O'Connor's function as the training manager is to organise and implement training and personnel services. A company's human resources is often the key determinant of organisational success. Companies who have well-trained and competent employees stand a good chance of fulfilling the objectives of their business plan. John O'Connor has been very helpful in guiding us on training courses, what kind of training we need for our company, suggesting training courses that would be of a benefit to us, and also helping us start up our own training programme. Right, what the psychometric test demonstrates is that uh, this person... BBIC clients may also wish to expand their current staff levels. And here again, John can help by offering recruitment advice and assistance, including computerised psychometric testing. The difference between us and a science park is that if we... Um, Frances Pilly's role as marketing manager is twofold. She is to promote the BIC and its activities and also liaise with and advise client companies on their sales and marketing strategies. BBIC Chief Executive Dr. Brian King oversees the day-to-day -day management of the centre. Recently appointed to the board of the European Business and Innovation Centre Network, Brian maintains regular contact with both client companies and sponsors. We have a very wide-ranging community affairs programme, but we've highlighted the Barnsley BIC as one of the key areas that we want to support in the coming year, and we have supported it in the last two years, and we feel that it provides a very worthwhile service to the people and the growing businesses in Barnsley. As well as the management team, a talented pool of business people meet regularly to exchange ideas and offer a variety of expertise to big clients. We are a large international firm of chartered accountants with very strong local roots. We have over 120 years experience in South Yorkshire and are very well aware of the problems, particularly those affecting small developing businesses. We are also very supportive of the enterprise program and the role played by enterprise agencies and similar bodies in the regeneration of South Yorkshire business. In recognition of our success over the past two years, we have been awarded the official seal of approval by the European Commission, as reflected in our new European logo. We have other innovation centres and other parts of the, um, the UK uh, which do a very useful job but they don't provide this full range of services that we have here in Barnsley and it's in recognition of that that the, the logo is being uh, presented. So it, it is recognised as one of the, if you like, the top grade uh, business and innovation centres. There are now 17 companies within the complex forming a growing nucleus of technology-based industry. Each has benefited from the unique service the BIC provides. Hillmire Island Design has benefited from the BIC because of its accommodation, its location, the expertise of its staff and the backup service which it's provided to us when we were starting up. Oh, well, hello Keith, it's Carol from Data Design. 
The, the BIC is a benefit to our company, more than just having floor space, because you can have marketing help, training help, financial management help, all the kinds of things that a small business in the first couple of years really needs to help it support and grow. The future of the Barnsley Business and Innovation Centre looks bright. Phase two of the complex is already underway, creating space for more new client companies. It's an investment, not only the big, it's an investment in our area, and it's an investment for the future of the industries as well, because we want now the growth of new technologies in the area, in an area where we've had industries running down that have been based on coal and steel. So the Barnsley Business and Innovation Centre gives us that opportunity to introduce new technologically based industries into South Yorkshire. So if you have a new idea which is technology based or you are an existing company which might benefit from our facilities and services don't hesitate to contact us. We might be able to provide you with the support you need. You're still here, Maggie? Afraid so. Did you sock it to them then? We certainly did. You'll be after my job next. See, what did I tell you? This place is absolutely amazing. All you've got to do now is to make contact. So make sure you do just that, and do it soon, all right? Good luck.